Welcome to the Distribution Solutions video blog entitled, Are You Smarter Than a Travel Agent? Today's topic, Expedia. Here we're going to start with Expedia on a simple flight search round trip, Tampa, London, Gatwick, July 8th, returning July 10th no particular departure or return time, defaulting to one adult. And we're simply going to click on search for flights and what will return here is what is called a matrix display. This is modeled after a flight display that was introduced by Orbitz originally in the early 2000 time frame. And what we see here is a wide variety of choices ranging from $1,276 for a nonstop mix and match, which is multiple carriers or simply British Airways round trip, one stop at 1,099 and 1,039. The one thing you'll notice about the Expedia matrix display is that you have a slide bar on the bottom and you can slide all the way to the right. And what you see here is that the most expensive flight is $1,659. But if you know anything about travel, you will know that the Iberia flight for $1,659 and the nonstop on American is actually the same exact airplane, but under a code share with Iberia. Expedia shows you both the separate flights outbound, which allows you to mix and match how you marry together your outbound and your return or you can look at the round trip flights already married together. What you will notice here is a teaser where Expedia indicates that there are only two tickets left at that price. And we have American Airlines outbound, two connections to British Airways, taking 20 hours and 15 minutes in the outbound and then return the same British Airways connecting to two American Airlines flights again over 20 hours in that trip. If I take a look at the nonstop, I will see that the trip can actually take as few as 8 hours and 20 minutes on the outbound and 9 hours and 20 minutes on the return. Going back to the individual flights and including multi-stop itineraries, on the multi-stop itinerary when I expand the flight details I can see that I'm actually flying from Tampa to New York, from New York to Manchester, England, and then Manchester, England to London. So at this juncture are we smarter than a travel agent? Well let's see. Online is quick and it does give you a feeling of control, no doubt about it. You can shop 7 by 24 365 days a year. And Expedia does offer a best price guarantee. So if you find something lower within 24 hours, even with an airline's website, you can call and secure that price. But if you wait even a day, you won't be able to secure what you saw yesterday. Here, just 24 hours later, from what we recorded yesterday for the initial part of this blog, the fares have gone up but in this day and age, even a travel agent can't help you on that front unless they agree to ticket the reservation and void it if you're not going to use it, which sometimes they'll do for the service fee that they charge on air tickets. But the major difference is one of completeness on the default availability information and how it's tailored to what you're looking for. As an example, if you knew the full list of airlines that service Tampa, London, and knew about all the local airports on that end, you could evaluate other options such as flying to Heathrow. Or you would notice that there are some key airlines missing, such as Continental Airlines. They have recently merged with United, so it's possible that United would be the Continental connection. And that is, in fact, the case. You've got Continental out of Tampa connecting to United out of Newark. Also, while you can sort what's displayed by price, duration, departure time and arrival time, you can't necessarily know that all of your options were included in the display. What a travel agent can do on the GDS is force a connection through a specific city so that if you know you want to fly on Continental, asking for availability through Newark is a sure way to get those flights to show up. And there are other carriers that fly nonstop from cities like Miami and Washington DC or even Orlando. 
The online sites have not added this force connection feature by city, so you only have the specific airline search option at your disposal. Expedia does not charge a service fee for issuing an airline ticket, but if you ticket the reservation online on Expedia and have to make a change, you're looking at a $200 change fee from an airline for an international ticket, plus any additional fare. And if the ticket was non-refundable, you have to use any credit on that same airline on Expedia. You can't even use it directly with the carrier. A travel agent will charge you a service fee, anywhere from $25 to $50 per airline ticket, and may allow you to cancel without a penalty. If you choose to use an offline agent, you need to ask what the, this fee covers and be very clear on what the cancellation penalties are. One last benefit of using Expedia is their seat map program. While today they can't let you purchase a premium seat on all airlines, they do integrate seat guru reviews on individual seats on a particular aircraft. For example, here we see a seat that does not recline due to the exit row that's behind it, so you would know not to request that particular seat. One of the nice things about being able to preview seat availability before making your selection is you can tell whether it's going to be a comfortable flight if you have the availability of aisle and window seats for the duration of the flight or whether you're going to be forced to sit in a center seat. Once you are ready to select your flight, you can go ahead and select your departures. You can see we're dealing with an airfare of 90740. I've now selected my flights and you can notice that Expedia is now reprocessing my request and lo and behold my old flight price was eight fifty thirty two plus fifty seven dollars in taxes. My new round trip is over a hundred dollars higher. If I want to keep that flight, I can go ahead and again it's getting my flight details on my return. And it will now give me all of my flight details and allow me to go ahead and enter my information. I can also add a hotel. I can save even more uh, by combining that with my hotel. I can also add a rental car and then of course put in all of my information including my payment information. So at the end of the day it's up to you. Do you want to have full information and availability and someone to guide you through all of your choices? A travel agent may be your best bet. Please do be aware that they charge a service fee and you need to be fully aware of what that service fee entails, any cancellation fees. And if you want to use an online site, just go in eyes wide open. Be aware that the price that they show you up front may not be the price when you're ready to ticket. And enjoy your flight to London.